Hey, what's going on uh, social media land? Aaron here, and I wanted to do a quick video telling you all how to import full-end song files on the new GarageBand, because I went through upgrading my iPad and everything just to do that. Like, I, I wasn't even really that pressed to upgrade to 6.0, because I'm like, you just came out with 5.0, what's the new deal? And by the way, the new 6.0 gets rid of the, U the native YouTube app, which sucks because there is no good YouTube app out there, really, for the iPad, which is fine because now I just use the website, which allows me to use the login that I wanted to use anyway. So whatever, um, or forces me to, rather. So anyway, the way that you get a song to import from, because that, that's one of the upgrades on the new iOS with the upgrade to GarageBand. You can import a song straight from your iTunes library into GarageBand to use it, to edit it how you want to edit it. And um, before, you'd have to plug in the iPad to your computer and then transfer the MP3 into the GarageBand app and then sync the iPad and all of that mess. But you don't have to do that now. And what you do, and I tried to find it on YouTube and there was no video for it. I tried to find it online and there was no video for it. So here's the video right now. Um, okay, when you're in your actual song... You click the little loop button, and it's a thing that looks like a loop. And um, you would think, well, why would it be in loops? It's in loops. Go to the loop button, and then you'll see three um, areas of options. And one option is like music library, I think it is, or artist, or something like that. And you go to the, that's, that button, and then you'll see all of the songs in your... Um, your My Music Library for uh, your iPad. Songs that you can already play on your iPad, in other words. And you just hold that song, you click it, you hold it, and you drag it over into the song that you're working on. Here's the thing. It's only going to drag over as long of the song as you have bars in your song. So in other words, if you're just starting a brand new song and it only has eight bars, it will only import eight bars of the song that you're bringing over. So the issue, what you have to do is you have to go to bars, and I'm sorry for not being able to tell you all that, but um, I, I, th I think that's something that you all probably know, because that's, that's a pretty old feature. But um, you go and you increase, you set the bars to automatic. So that way when you, instead of saying I want 8 bars or saying I want 16 bars or saying uh, for the right cream I write a hot 16, I'm Lil' Kim, um, instead of saying anything like that, what you do is um, you set it to automatic. And then when you import the song, it will import the whole song. Because I saw people complaining like, I think the new upgrade is a nice idea, but it only, uh, it'll only allows you to upgrade, to only allows you to import 8 bars. That sucks. No, you have to set it to automatic, and then you can import the whole song, which is really cool because then, and you, and you can finally do all of this with the iPad. This is part of what's motivating me to use GarageBand again, as opposed to um, Nano Studio. And I, I like Nano Studio a lot, and that's what I was using mostly because you can sort of, um, I felt like you can get deeper into the song with Nano Studio and do a lot more with the editing. But um, you can do a, a lot more with GarageBand. GarageBand really stepped it up. So, yeah, and GarageBand's only $4. Um, so $5. $4.99. Whatever. Um, but anyway, you can upload the song into your song like that. And what makes that cool also is you only have um, eight tracks on GarageBand that you can uh, make, your, make uh, your song. But what you can do now is you can... Make those eight tracks of instruments. So, so then let's say that you have a song and you need eight separate instruments. And you don't always need eight, but sometimes I go overboard. I'm kidding, but sometimes. And um, I don't... Uh, anyway, whatever. Um, but let's say you needed all of those tracks to be imported. And you've, you use all of them for um, instrumentals. And you're like, well, what am I going to do with the vocal track now? You know, what, what can I do? What you can do is with your eight tracks of instrumentals, <clears throat> you can export to the music library and then start a new song and then 
import it, and I already went through how to do that, import the full song, remember set the bars to automatic, import the full song, and it's just going to be one track of instrumentals that you're importing as your new song. And then that leaves you with seven tracks for vocals. Bam. Bam. Thank me later. Wait, you can thank me now. Wait, I mean, thank me. Wait, thank me now. Uh Uh-huh. Thank me later. I don't know. It's something from that Drake song, but whatever. Um, But yeah, like nobody put that on YouTube. I was so mad because I just didn't know how to do it. So that's how you do it. You go to Loops. You go to artist or music library, you click and you drag it over, you make sure that your bars are set to automatic because it will only load in however many bars you have set. Um, <clears throat> and then you're good to go and you can export to the library too. This, this past 30 seconds of the video really could have been the whole video because that explains the whole thing right there. But anyway, I'm not doing it again. So six minutes isn't too much to ask you all to watch. Talk to y'all later. Peace, be blessed. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah.